What's up, guys? Welcome back to A Conversation with Kay and Tay. And this is episode three. Let's get into it. First question, how do you remain confident and how did you gain your confidence? I feel like this is something I touch on a lot and my answer is gonna be pretty consistent about learning to talk to yourself and treat yourself the way you would someone that you love and care about. We're much harsher on ourselves than we are to other people. And I think, you know, if you wouldn't say it to your younger self, why would you say it to you now? I think about that quite a lot, even on days where I have moments where I'm feeling a little less confident and not feeling myself. So I just kind of will take a moment and reset myself and and remember that, you know, this is my body, this is who I am, this is my soul, and every single part of me is beautiful, even if there are moments when I think they're not, and that's it. And never let outside opinions affect who you are and how you feel about yourself. Yep. Because it doesn't matter. Even if it's a close friend of yours, just, it doesn't matter. You are amazing as you are. Exactly. I don't have much to to add after that. I think you, yeah, you pretty much said it perfectly. Yeah. What is your biggest weakness as a couple? The fact that when both of us are irritated, we get quiet. Communication is one of our biggest issues, I think. Even though we're really good at it. I don't think it's an issue. Not we're really good at it, but we're, it's not like it's, you know, it's not a a huge problem that's like, oh, you know what I'm saying? If you, if you were to, you know, look at the bigger picture and like, okay, let's look at the relationship as a whole and where do you guys have the most issues? Like what area do you have the most issue in, uh, issues in? And I feel like communication is definitely the area. Really? Yeah. Because I'm stunned right now. I yeah. wouldn't consider that an issue. A weakness, maybe. Yeah, but no, an not, issue, not like, well, not an issue, like a weakness, yeah. Well, to answer the question, yeah, like a, a weakness, but not an issue. I feel like patience and communication is something that, like personally, I have to work on, um, and I am a lot better at it, thanks to her. For me, it's the communicating when, like, agitated yes. a little bit, or like irritated, um, but I also know that I am that, can be that I know that I mm. it's a lot of mosquitoes over here, guys. I know that I can also I'm gonna just keep my fan because then they will not fly around my head I know I can also be I the kind so. of person I can also be the kind of person who waits to see if the other person can tell that I'm frustrated because it was something that happened on their end so mm. I tend to do that with Khalil a lot and I'm trying to be better about doing that but at the same time, I sometimes feel like things are obvious and like we as women are like, hello? And which do you they see are. That? Like, like for me to add onto you know? that, they are. And I feel like that's where my problem comes because I don't communicate. And I'm, I'm not like, okay, can we like figure this out? You know, yeah. I don't do that enough, you know, no, and I, I have agree. to do that more. I agree. And I think it's because you don't really ever think you're the problem. <laughs> no, I, that's the problem. I think I am the problem. Oh, okay. And I recognize it. I'm just like, I'm, you know, I'm not going to say, I'm not going to say something. I'll wait for her to say something. And yeah. a, another thing to add to that, too, is I don't think an apology is always what is wanted right away. Yeah. It's better if you're just like. Recognize it I first. notice that you're quiet. Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. Do you want to talk about what's wrong? Yes. Because I don't need you to just. Okay, I'm sorry. I get it. Like, yeah. Because then yeah. it's like, okay, it's, but do you know not, why you're saying sorry? Not you know genuine. what I mean? Exactly. exactly. That too. You so. have to recognize the, the issue first. Yeah. And then, you know, talk it out. Hence, communication being the most important thing in a relationship. To yeah. me, in my We're opinion. better. Better every day. And I appreciate you. Appreciate for you being too. patient. <laughs> Is it hard learning his language? I speak Portuguese, by the way. I am from Brazil. This is where we are right now. Let me let me start by saying she has impressed me so much. And I'm sure she has impressed a lot of my family members as well. Because she actually like she tries. She not she's not like, oh I'll I'll learn and she'll take a download an app and like oh I'll learn how to say hi, say bye. I wanna go to the bath. Like little things, like things that you need to know if you're coming to Brazil, like for a trip. But she, like she's going hard and she's going the extra mile to actually learn and she talked to everybody in my family. They all love her. Um, She wasn't afraid to speak and even if she was wrong, they all thought it was cute anyways. I love it. (laughs) 
um, <laughs> even if I was so embarrassed. <laughs> yeah, but she, that's the thing. She's not afraid to make mistakes, and that's how you learn. And she's improved so much from the time that we've been here. Yeah. She's learned so, so much, and I'm literally so impressed and so proud for her. Thank you. Well, proud of her yeah. for going the extra mile. Thank you. And learning. It means a lot. But I will say... Oh. It means a lot to me, too, because I want our kids to speak both languages. True. For sure. That's a absolute, without a doubt, they will speak both languages. But to you, but was I, it hard? I will say... Portuguese is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. And that's even coming from when I first met Khalil and knew that his family spoke the language. But I will say, now that I've been here and I'm immersed in the language, yeah. it's coming to me a lot more naturally than I thought it was going to. Nice. And I feel confident that I am learning it. I will admit, sometimes I get like a little bit nervous depending on the reaction I get from the person I'm speaking to uh, outside yeah. his family. So we're out, we're at a restaurant and like, you know, I can, I, I would say I can mostly order for myself. Yeah. Sometimes specifics are a little bit difficult, but if the person is speaking like really fast or they're like yeah. not maybe having a good day, I get yeah. uncomfortable because I know it's going to take me longer to order than his family. Yeah. So sometimes I'm not like, no, let me just do it. So I think I need to be a little more confident that I am learning it and I can try. Yeah. But it is difficult, but much easier learning it here in Brazil where that's all I'm hearing 24 seven. I think I've met three people who speak English because outside you, his family. You tend to like, you speak it very well, like to my family. You're very open. You say a bunch of things. I do. Um, like you understand what they're saying. Uh, and yeah, you I can do. You still respond and communicate. Like if yes. I leave you with one of my family members, you'll be able to communicate. For sure. All day, you know. Me and they do. Yeah. Like you'll be able to <laughs> understand each other. Yeah. Like somehow. Yes. Um, <laughs> but like sometimes in restaurants, when mm. the waiter is coming, they're like, oh, no, no, no. They say really fast. So fast. And it's like you know she gets a little nervous and then she doesn't really know what to do like she's just i, I don't speak portuguese <laughs> like what did he say <laughs> even though she probably understood but uh -huh. just the pressure of the moment it's like it's a lot so immediately eu não falo yeah. portuguese desculpa <laughs> exactly hello <laughs> and then i'm like hello yeah hello because they say it like they say it so fast like us brazilians like we speak really fast like really fast. So especially uh, because I'm from Curitiba and we're in, in Rio right now. So especially if somebody with a different accent that, oh. you know, she's used to hearing all the time, they come to her and they say something really fast is I could, I could see how difficult it is. Just to give a teeny tiny example of what I've learned so that you guys are like audience who's from other countries besides Brazil can understand. The way Khalil says, like, I like something is go stay. But people in Rio say go stay. So yeah. oh, if they're the saying it really, really fast, it's like sometimes I have to like, oh, okay, wait, let me think of how I've heard it before, but yeah. different. Isn't she you so know? good at it? Muito obrigado. <laughs> I try. <laughs> I am trying though. All right, next. Okay. Are you happy with how often you and your partner talk about your mental health? Well, that's a really great question. I can honestly say no. Yeah. I think that would be something I would like to talk about more. Because yeah, we don't really talk about that. No, we don't. Like we just kind of just deal with it in our own ways. Because the way I deal with my mental health is isolation from anything and everything. I do respect that. I feel like if I ever, when I have real issues, like something that like it's really bothering me, then I do talk to you about it. Yeah. Um, but I feel like for the most part, I don't really communicate that as much. And I think we should I, I agree. Um, because it doesn't hurt. It's not hurting us not communicating and like not really talking about it because like I said, when it, it is something that's really bothering me and it's really like, okay, this is in my head and I feel like I could speak for you too, yeah. is we talk about it. But I, I think agree. we should talk about the big things and the small things. I feel like it will help. I agree, actually. I agree a lot. Let's definitely do that more. Cool. Go team. How do you feel as a plus size girl dating a handsome boy? That's a good question. First of all, I think I'm pretty cute. So just as much as Khalil's a gift to me, I'm a gift to him. There's few times that I think of it that way as me being like a curvier person and him being extremely fit. And it's mostly from outside perspectives yes. or outside situations, a comment on Instagram, a comment on TikTok or something like that. But when it's just the two of us and we're alone, I never think us think about us being different in that kind of way. Exactly. Personally. And it goes both ways because 
I have my own insecurities as well because I've always been super, super skinny and I didn't want to be super, super skinny. I've always wanted to have muscles and be muscular and be bigger. Uh, but my metabolism is just so freaking fast. Thanks, Dad. So um, fast, you guys. <laughs> oh, my God. So she has she, she's had her issues where she struggled to lose weight and I, I've had my issues and that I struggle to gain weight. I will literally gain 10 pounds in, let's say, a month. Mm -hmm. And I could lose that same 10 pounds in like three days. It, and he, I'm telling you, he's not exaggerating. Yeah, it's so all. fast. But to come back to the question, it, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. One plus size person, one, one thinner skinny person. person. One super muscular guy with a super muscular girl, like it, it doesn't matter. Love is love. If you like each other, then that's, that's all it. that matters. If you <laughs> love each other, it's about you and the other person, not about what everybody else has to say. Amen. The people that are saying things anyways are just, it's a reflection of what they're feeling, you know? Uh, maybe they can't find love. Maybe they're unhappy. Maybe they are struggling with something of their own, you know? Yeah. That's why I don't even say anything and I don't like reply to any comments like that with the same negative energy because hey you never know what somebody's going through yeah absolutely. Um, so I just leave it there yeah. keep it going I'm happy she's happy <laughs> that's all that matters that's you know true. I love her with everything that I am and everything that I'm not yet oh period <laughs> his future self is also saying that he loves me should bills be split equally based on how much you earn I think it would be hard for me to touch on that only because of the fact that Khalil and I don't live together yet. We definitely want to. That's one of our bigger goals. So I'm just going to basically say, I think that all comes down to how you and your partner feel about it. Yeah. I sometimes think there are situations where it could be 50-50. And I think there's situations where if somebody is really making a, like, I'm talking a substantial amount more than their partner, or maybe their partner's without a job or between jobs, then I think, you know, you could kind of, you know, step up a little bit more because like, that's what partnership is. It's working together. It, it's gonna vary from couple to couple. Okay guys, last question. Do you wish you and your partner had more interests in common? Okay, so. Mm, I already had it. <laughs> <laughs> to me, I really like I really wish that we did 100 percent, but not like I wish we had more interests in common. I just wish that like actually no, because I was going to say I wish that you would do the things that I want to do with me as well. What I, I was going to say doesn't really apply. I think it does apply, but I think what you're trying to say maybe and tell me if I'm wrong, I think you would be grateful if I was more willing to do the things you want to do when you're willing to do them. Oh because yeah, my problem, that's exactly what it is. My problem is I'm a major yeah. planner. Everything yes. has to be set to a schedule. I yes. want to know what day, what time, what to wear, all that. Yes. Khalil will literally wake up. Yep. <laughs> You know what we should do today? We should go airsofting, then bowling, yeah. then we should jet ski, then we should go to the shooting range. Mm -hmm. And as soon as I'm like, oh my God, but it's like 10 a.m. and yeah. then I was thinking of doing this today and blah, blah, blah. He's like, forget it. You I'm don't even very, want to do it with me. And I'm like, very, it's not that. I just, I'm a planner. Yeah, I mean, I'm very spontaneous. Very. Like I could get up and want to do a thousand things today. Yeah. And like. Which I appreciate. Yeah. Cause I think we balance each other out. Yeah, But because I need to plan things for sure. That's so true. I respect that you're a planner because things go a lot that's more true. smoother when you plan things out. But yeah, that's that's what it is because you're willing to do the things that I want to do. Yeah. We just need to plan to Better. do them accordingly. Yeah. Yeah. I think one place where we could find common ground is Kalu likes very flamboyant activities, jet ski, like shooting range and stuff like that and i like i want to go on a picnic yeah. i want to sit and read a book yeah. i'd like to go sit somewhere by the beach and like watch the ocean so i i wish he was a little more open to doing more chill things sometimes yeah and then i think he wishes i was a little more to like yeah like let's just go do it you know so yeah. i think we have a lot to learn from each other and try to find a balance between that yeah i also wish that you liked reading more because i've always wanted to be one of those cute girlies that her and her man can sit and like yeah. read a little book on a bench like at the same time and then just like yeah. look at each other like oh my god we're reading a book on a bench and then it's like That's you know the thing. i like reading i just never do it <laughs> yeah i could work on that but i think we have a lot in common yep. which is why I, yeah right. i agree too 
I think we have Mama's given a us the lot look. in common. But yeah, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, thank you for your questions as well. And we will see you for the next episode. Always have fun doing these conversations with you guys. Yeah, so thank you for getting into them the way we get into them. <laughs> love every single one of you. And don't forget to love yourself. I love you. I love you too. We'll see you next time. And we love you. <laughs> <laughs>